Hi friends, sample and hold circuit. As you know, whenever we are going to market, what you do? We want to suppose we want to take apples. Like these are the apples. I don't like the shape of the apples, but suppose this one the apple. So I want to get the apple from lots of samples of apples. There are the many of apples are there. What I want to do, I choose the some apples which are I like from my memory. The apples which are considered, the apples which are taken out from the lots of samples, they are depending on my choice. And my choice is the ideal apple, the ideal apple which is the red in color, which is the very big and which has the very high size. This is the my choice of apples. This is what I do from the samples. I take the lots of samples and from that sample I choose the any one apple. Means I sampling this apple. The process of choosing the any one element or same like as the ideal element from the group of apples is called as sampling of apples and in our circuit the sample is a thing which is important to sample in same type when I choose the apples there is one ideal apple in my mind this is the ideal apple I check these apples with the ideal apple and whatever the apple I get from it I given to it my back. This is the my back. Alright. So I put all these apples in this my back. So I holding my all apples here. So this is the ideal apple which is used as a switch. The apples which I like I kept in it. Apples which I don't like I neglect them here. Okay. So same these things are related to the our signals. If there is any input signal is applied to the circuit, I sample that input signals and I sing provide that input signals towards the any switch. Here we apply the one MOSFET. That MOSFET is the E MOSFET and this e mosfet is used as a switch to sampling the signals this e mosfet is working on the sample and hold control voltage this is the sample and hold control voltage which is provided in the square waves here is the one input side this e mosfet is used as a switch and i put the one capacitor here is the one capacitor is here that capacitor is used to hold the complete signals which is at sample and this is providing to the third terminal that is the non-inverting terminal of an op-amp and the inverting terminal is a feedback it provides to the output this is our block diagram and also there is the output is across the resistance RL as you know and there is it is provided to the ground so what is the operation is there in this complete circuit whenever I applying the input signal that input signals are providing to the one MOSFET which is used as a switch the MOSFET sampling the input signals which is I require there is a, a sine wave, there is sorry, there is a square wave is provided to the E MOSFET. The E MOSFET is working, the input wave is like this. The input wave is sine wave, which is from here, and the wave which is providing to the E MOSFET it is in the form of the pulses. Am I right? 
so during the positive pulse e mosfet is conducted is sampling the input signals which is provided to the capacitor capacitor charging and during the charging of capacitor this is our capacitor output and this is our input from the e mosfet okay whenever the e mosfet is on when the positive supply is providing to the e mosfet e mosfet sampling the signals and that signals is provided like this towards the positive type when the negative half wave is applied to from towards the e mosfet that e mosfet is off and the signals are steady there signals are don't give any output all right signals are holding here so during the negative half cycle e mosfet is off due to which the complete energy which is providing during the charging of capacitor is discharged through the load input resistance of an op amp because the input resistance of an op amp is very high and here also we providing the 10k resistance so here all the energy is retained at the capacitor c and that energy <coughs> the complete output is we get here so now when the again the positive half pulse is providing to the mosfet it act as a open switch and it give us the output wave form which is like the input signal and during the again in negative half cycle this is the negative half cycle during the negative half cycle of and then sample and hold control voltage the e mosfet is again off so the complete charging which is providing during the positive half cycle is discharged through the load resistance this is the resistance and we get the output from the load resistance rl so this is the open and again and again in the negative half cycle it's again the holding during the positive half cycle it again charging so this type of wave form we get at output so first of all it's sampling then it's holding the circuit then again the sampling is holding the signal it's again sampling and again it's holding the signal at its upper level so time which is useful the time which is useful for the sampling is called as a sample time which is denoted by ts and the most important time this is the ts is here and most important the time which is given by the sample and hold control voltage to holding the signals the time which is required to holding the signals its time is called as a holding time and which is denoted by th and that's the time which is required here so we can say that it is the ts it is th it is again the ts and it is again the ts so here is the one sampling hold sampling hold sampling hold hence this complete circuit it's called as a sample and hold circuit so as you understand the sample and hold circuit so for more effective output this capacitor can be changed we can apply the capacitor which is made up of the teflon or the capacitor which is made up of all the polythin sorry it is made up of the polyethylene and these two capacitors if we replace from this capacitor then we get the more output and more accurately output so, and if you are lazy if you don't like to complete design the such a circuit then if you use you can use the one ic which is known as the lf398 this ic completely contain the complete sample and hold circuit you only require the one capacitor to providing it and the one output rl so sampling hold sampling hold sampling hold hence this circuit is called as a 
sample and hold circuit thank you